I'm Holly Jackson, author of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which is currently being adapted into a TV show. And by currently, I mean li like literally right now, I can see they're filming over there. So should we, um, should we go get in the way and have a little peek, shall we? Go get shouted at. So we are in a school that is meant to be Little Kilton Grammar School. And in here, actually I'm not sure, this is either a gym, which is my least favorite room in school, or maybe it's the theater room because there's seats there. So <gasps> what the heck is this? A giant tent, nay, a marquee in the middle of the school gym. Why is this here? And if you come and have a little peek, you might be able to see Got some sleeping bags, some leaves. This seems to be the tent they sleep in in episode two in the camping trip. Oh, Pip, come on. Give us your top five Andy Bell killer suspects. But why is it not in the woods? Why is it in the middle of a school gym? I'll tell you, folks. It's the magic of television, that is. Because we can turn all the lights off in here and black out the windows, and it looks like the dead of night. It means we don't have to all get really cold and tired and shoot outside in the woods all night. Although we are, we are doing that as well, but um, we like to cheat it where we can. Okay, so here we have some props. This is Connor's bag and actually I thought it would be light. It's quite heavy considering there's not actually anything inside it. But Zach over here, I think, oh my goodness, what do they put in this? Rocks. This also is not light, but I would say this is the much more useful pack. He's even got a little chair there. They are rolling kind of down that way, I think, but I thought I'd come poke around in some of the stuff we've got here. And actually it's quite interesting because we've actually got labelled props over here. So look, we've got Lauren's schoolwork and I can see not, not one Jane Eyre, but two Jane Eyres. How many Jane Eyres is too many Jane Eyres? Not two. We've got a little yoghurt here that I think might seat just quite heavily at a moment in episode three. As were Ruby Foxcroft. Shut up and eat your Miller Lite. Yally, I've been looking for you over here. Hey, Holly. Doing scribbling like a weirdo I'm in this dark room. I'm just taking notes. Notes? No, oh, it's really? none of your business. <laughs> it says, tell Holly is holding me hostage. It's not true. How has it been playing Lauren? Are you excited? I love it so much. Mm. I genuinely really love it. She's absolutely amazing mm. and she makes me laugh. Oh, I peed on my leg. <laughs> Yali is bringing Lauren to life in the best way possible. Since from like your audition to now, in fact, when I watched your audition, I just remember thinking she's having way too much fun <laughs> doing this. I thought auditions were meant to be miserable, but you were just enjoying it a bit too much. I really was. Mm. Let's do this, bitches. Come on. So have you got any scenes coming up that you're particularly looking forward to? Oh, I'm really excited for the camping scenes. What are we doing? We're playing Charlie Charlie. This is gonna win badly. Who are we gonna summon? Because we are in A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and you are, I assume, a good-ish girl, um, if you had to murder one of your castmates, <laughs> who might that be? Oh no! Hypothetical. We I don't can't. actually have to do it. I can't. No? I couldn't possibly. You wouldn't pick Jude? No! <laughs> would I would you? Hold on. Hold on. If you could murder anyone. I didn't say anything. It's just these, the first you, one that came to mind. Who would you murder? Myself. Jude. Jude. <laughs> I would murder Jude. In Jude's fact, amazing. Where is he? Jude is amazing. No one's seen him since lunch, have they? And with that, my cue to go before. Yeah, I can hear sirens. Yeah, I think <laughs> I, I better go. But it was nice chatting to you. Life. Don't mess up any of these props, okay? Bye. Well, I'm just going to go hang out with the cast now. How do you do, fellow kids? And um, we've just got to test out this prop as well that we're using, because that's my job on set, actually. I have many jobs, and one is test out the props so no one else hurts themselves. I regret committing to doing this. Whoa. Yeah, that really works. That does. Yep, we're off I go very quickly. OK, we're going to go for a little wander around the school, see if we can find any notable little Kilton Grammar School students, eh? Come on then, come with me. Look who I found in this room. This is not Raiko. Oh my God, I just, 
But, and Ash is down there as well. I didn't even see you down there. Ash was having a nap and we've disturbed it. And the lovely Emma. What lessons have you guys been having today? Physics. Really Physics. Yes. So I found this bunch of people who are supposedly important. Um, <laughs> you wrote us. I did. They came from my imagination. It's very trippy. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we've um, pestered the actors enough. Asha needs to get back to her nap on the floor that she was doing there on this coat down here. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard work being car award, so um, I'm going to leave them there and escape, although I'm sure I'll be annoying you all later. Bye, Bye. do your best work. Make me proud. Love you all. Bye. Never know where I am. That's the wrong way. I quite like being at the school because we get to do fun scenes with Pip and her friends, which are a bit more lighthearted because, you know, some dark, horrible stuff happens elsewhere in Little Kilton. But the school for now, nice place to be. Oh, hi, Raiko. Oh, hi, Holly. I almost didn't see you there Since hanging out going. on this corner like you're the main character Thank you. Thank waiting you. for me. And oh, there's a camera oh, right there. Hi. This <laughs> seems like. I should probably just introduce you, right? Oh, okay, go for it. This is Raiko, who will be playing Zach in the TV show of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. If you're right and Sal didn't kill Andy, then whoever did is still out there. And if they find out you're looking for them, isn't there a chance they could come after you? So how, <laughs> how are you feeling about everything? Are you excited to be in the world of Little Kilton? I am. It's such a cool, beautiful place. All the locations that we've shot at are so aesthetically pleasing and they all work so seamlessly well together. The whole town just looks incredible and all the, the costumes look great. The costume designer Charlotte did such an amazing job. Mm. There are people from school here. I didn't know it was a whole stars of the silver screen thing. It's all chafing. Mine's really chafing. It's cool seeing that you've written this book and now it's being put onto screens. How how have you found it with, with the characters that you've created? How does that compare to what you're I mean, at? it has been a bit weird. When I walked into the mm. table read and everyone was just there for the first time coming over to talk to me, it was a bit like, ah! You're from my brain. <laughs> oh, you're there like jump scares everywhere because yeah. everyone is just so well casted. Well, now that you've said nice things about me, I think it's probably time for me to leave right. and see you around. See you've got work to do. Go I on. I do, yeah. Get, be Zach. They say try everything once. I believe the acronym is YOLO. Exactly. Oh, hi, Jude. Whoa. Hi. Oh. Oh, sorry, were you having a nap? I an was, impromptu nap An on impromptu set. nap on set. Don't tell the director. I, I won't. <laughs> well, I'm actually in charge here, so I won't tell myself. So this is Jude. He's playing Connor in the adaptation of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, to all of our delight. Have you guys heard about the duct tape killer? He's a serial killer. Apparently, he wraps duct tape around his victims' faces before he strangles them to death. Gross. Are you enjoying being back at school? I am. It's not actually been that long since you were at school. I mean, it's not been that long. Me, me either, obviously. Obviously, like what, like, two years ago? A week ago, yeah. well, just today. <laughs> mm, yeah. What's it been like for you, seeing Little Kills and Grammar in the flesh? It is, I mean, it's not made of flesh. Well, I wish, it's made of bricks, but it is very exciting. Um, We've had, literally just there, we had all the school children spilling out as the summer holidays began, and it was quite fun to watch. I did a selfie. Yeah. So obviously your favorite book in the whole wide world is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Yeah. And you probably <laughs> bought it and read it on the day it, it released, if I, I did. remember I did. rightly. I actually pre-ordered, if you? I remember correctly. Uh, yes, of course you and did. And I have my signed copy. Yeah, I, oh, did. I did actually sign one for I you, was so that's not a lie. very shameless straight away in the read through. Mm, me did. I'm really busy and important, so I probably need to go and do some jobs over there. You get well, back I'm to your I'm going to get nap. back to my beauty sleep. Yeah, you um, need it. OK. Big, big, big scenes tomorrow. Bye, okay. Holly. Good, love you. Goodbye. Bye. See you later. <sighs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Every single second, I'm having the best time ever. I park up at the monitor next to the director and the producer with my little headphones on and this is the best thing in the world. I mean, there's not many people who write a book and get to see it come to life in this way. So I am appreciating every second. I know how special this is. Um, I hope I get to do it again, but if I don't, I'm gonna come here as much as I can, even if they don't want me to, and um, get into trouble, which is my favorite thing to do.